Welcome to Friday Night Lights on Fox 12 Oregon. Well, what many thought may never arrive finally did, and now this is the end. Culmination week for the spring season of high school football in Oregon. Six weeks better than no weeks. Just ask the kids in Washington who wrapped up their slate of games last week, and now it's under the traditional spring sports season. No playoffs, no championships, but a culmination night. A lot of great contests like this one at Hillsborough Stadium. Unbeaten sunset, top scoring offense of the state at 40 points plus. Against the reigning 6-8 champs from Central Catholic, the defense allowing its eight points per game. Third quarter, 17-7. That is Team Lillard kid, Caleb Tim. White gloves. Dance it in. 35 yards, 23 to 7. Apollo's behind that beefy line. Southern Catholics, Ellis Bynum replies. Copy paste this. Ellis on his own island. Up and down the sideline. 2-0 in for six from 80 yards away. 24-13, no point after. Fourth quarter now. Kyle Jekyll, one of the best quarterbacks in the state. To Owen Stark, right across the middle. The cross, they've been working on that since last summer. Run after catch for a big time six. 31-13. Far from over, though. Rams, always tough. Luke Johnson, so matured over the year now. Crown him there to Jordan King. The comeback was on. 31 to 20. CCHS ball again. Same combo. Johnson to King. Little level up time. Two point try good. 31 28. Field goal later. In regulation. Went to overtime. In OT. Kim feed him. Scoring first. Taking the lead. Now the boys in purple just needing to hold on. That they would do. Nick Molitor knows how to do this business. The PBU pass breakup seals it up. Victory Corn Dogs back on the ranch along Cornell. 38 31 in overtime. An incredible condensed season by the Apollos. Now they'd love one more crack at a team like, say, Westland. A Metro League clash along 185th. Beaverton, Aloha, and the home of the Warriors. The blue and gold shine in the daylight. Savings time, sun. That's Logan Moore. Eight yard score. My Boys boys can bring it to Hunter Border, just a sophomore. Christian Gonzalez, just the junior. Look to do more of this stuff for the real deal. Full season, we hope, in the fall. Second quarter, you log on for more, for more. Logan. Shorty still worth the full six. 14-7, Aloha on the three-yard touch. Then Aloha's aerial attack. Do you think that Coach Bill Volk has enjoyed seeing every darn snap from his senior son like this? Tanner Volk, Zach Hurley. Mark it down to the highlight reel come Team Banquet, which is probably virtual tomorrow. 29-yard score for the Warriors to lead. They win in the end, 49-13. Off-season conditioning starts now, or at least after that victory brunch Saturday morning. Big night in the Mountain Valley Conference in the home of the Olympians. 5-0 West Salem, 5-0 Sprague, about as fierce as it comes to the capital city. The Titans had won the previous four matchups. The Oles rolling there behind Ethan Bullock down to the goal line. And then Carson Van Kempen on the receiving end. One score game, 21-14. The Titans threw one right back. Jackson Lowry, Jaron Love, what's not two? First down. Then the star of the night, Nathan Garcia. Electric on every front of the night we've seen in this spring. 15-yard touchdown, 28-14. Sprague back on the offense. Logan Smith, Drew Rodriguez. One score game again, 28-21. But there's Garcia once again. Chalk this up for a 35-yard score. Garcia had five on the night. Titans close out its perfect spring, 35-21. Three Rivers League powers from Cobb Field, Tualatin, Lake Oswego. This puppy barking in favor of the kids by the lake. That's Jack Lane, Gabe Olvera. 20 yards later, reservations for six from number seven. They led huge. Jackson Jones, though, Malik Ross, not ones to give up the fight. 21 yards later, first and 10 on the 29. Next snap, something big, too. Jackson Jones, Peter Burke in the end zone. Tualatin's only score, all Lake Show. They really rallied back after missing two games early in the year, 36 to 7.